Hey everyone, so today I'm finally doing the video that's been very, very requested ever since I did the ASMR Q&A video and I talked about um, if I was a virgin or not because someone asked that question in the q and I'm going to title this video 7 things you should know before having sex or 7 things you should know about sex. So this is kind of just the things that I knew already and I did before having sex and just preparing myself for like losing my virginity. I don't know why I did that because whatever. But for losing my virginity. And I guess how I made it a little bit easier for myself. Um, it was definitely something I was very nervous about, very, very much overthinking. I overthought everything about it in every aspect um, about sex in general. Um, so I'm just gonna give you some tips. Maybe these tips will help you guys, maybe they won't. I'm not too sure. I'm not a sex es expert, I'm not a doctor, nothing like that. I'm just a regular 20 year old girl that has had sex. <laughs> Okay, so let's just get right into it. First things first, don't be stupid. And I know that's just really blunt and just out there, but don't be stupid. Do your research. Make sure you know about the STIs, the STDs, pregnancy, condoms, birth control. Make sure you know just everything that, like, having sex is not something that, for some people, I know there's some people who had sex for the very first time and they got pregnant because they didn't use protection or um, they didn't know whatever things things can happen so do your research first not just watching videos actually look online um, what are the risks of this what happens if this happens can you have sex when you're on your period can you have can you get pregnant when you're on your period stuff like that I know I did a lot of that myself I knew about pretty much all the STIs all the STDs um, definitely don't be afraid to ask questions um, before having sex with the person that you're gonna have sex with ask them hey do you have chlamydia do you have HPV do you have whatever just be blunt with them that I know that's how I was because I was for sure I think responsible enough to know that like what could happen and what people can have and they can even they could know they can have it and not even know that they have it so just ask them when was the last time you got checked you could tell them i just got checked i know i'm clean blah 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 ask them straight to their face if they can't answer you or if they're they're stuttering or they're acting strange don't have sex with them. no i'm kidding but definitely just be like i'm i'm open about it um because you know i'm responsible and like for my own body and for my health and stuff so um tell me <laughs> like be straight up if you're about to have sex with someone that's pretty much the closest you could get to someone so you better just talk openly about it don't be scared second know your body before you let someone else know your body so what i mean by that is just explore like by yourself like know what it is down there know what <sighs> how do i explain this without sounding weird just know <sighs> sorry the lighting is like what is that Just know your body before you let someone else know your body. What I mean is like, just like with your hands or with toys or whatever it is, just almost like know what you like already, know what you want, know what um, how someone can please you down there because you know like where your spots are and stuff because everyone's different. That's something I definitely knew um, before ever, ever even kissing someone else. So I, I knew that early on and... Um, I think it's just, it's very important to know yourself and know your body before having sex with someone. That will also make losing your virginity a lot easier because you're kind of comfortable down there already. It's not like touching it for the first time, you know? So, okay. Third, stop overthinking everything. And I know this because this is how I was. I was always like, oh my god, does my vagina look normal? Do I smell normal? Do I shave properly is there too much hair is there too little hair i was concerned about every little detail and to be fairly frank i don't know that many says but to be pretty honest no one cares like literally no one cares the person that you're having sex with sex with they're not thinking about that and if they are if someone's gonna say that to you then don't have sex with them because that's just rude but um Definitely just shower, you know, clean like a normal person, be hygienic, but don't overdo it because we're very sensitive down there as human beings. Our skin is different down there than it is right here, let's say. So you don't want to exfoliate, you don't want to, you know, douche or whatever the thing is where you clean actually the inside of your vagina because that actually causes infections and stuff like that. So just 
clean like a normal person use gentle soap you know um don't overthink it because it's gonna ruin the whole experience for you and i know that because sometimes i'm even like that still today it's been like okay only two years that i've been having like actual sex but sometimes i get in my head i'm like oh shit like i worked out before this or you know something that could be a little bit where it's a little bit like not as squeaky clean as you want it to be literally it doesn't matter it doesn't care it doesn't matter he doesn't care she doesn't care um as long as you don't have like a yeast infection or uti or something like that then you know you're fine there's nothing wrong and sex is supposed to smell like sex sex it smells like sex um i could say sex a lot in this video but what i mean by that is it's not supposed to smell like roses it's not supposed to smell like a meadow it's supposed to smell like sex and i like the smell of sex and i'm sure your partner whoever you're having sex with doesn't want to smell roses they want to smell sex so forget all that don't worry about it as long as you're a decently clean person you're fine number four and i can't i can't repeat this enough relax r-e-l-a-x okay when you're having sex for the first time your body is going to tense up because you're nervous you've never like you never had someone else's thing in your inside you before so obviously that's that's nerve-wracking whether you've had fingers up there or toys up there or whatever it's still it's like someone's body part so of course you're gonna be nervous and of course you're gonna but that's that's the wrong thing to do because it's gonna hurt and i know that from experience so the moment you just let go the moment you just like you know you're fine you know you're with someone who cares about you you know you're with someone who's clean and safe um you know you're using protection you're on birth control or you're using a condom whatever it is um you know just relax like just try to try to have fun you know it's not supposed to be something stressful sex is supposed to be something that people have for enjoyment for if they love each other if they want to have children stuff like that that's how i see sex it's not supposed to be something oh i have to have sex because like he doesn't want to be with me if i don't have sex with him i d briefly dated someone for a little bit and on our second date or our first date or something he was like i don't know if i want to be with you unless i have sex with you because i don't know like i don't want to be with you if, our, if sex isn't good with you so that right there after he said that i didn't even talk to him anymore because i was like okay so we had to you're pretty much telling me we have to have sex right now today the first date to see if you want to continue this so it was it was so stupid he was probably we were probably like 16 at the time i was a virgin still i didn't want to have sex with him so i was like bye see you later um not a good no you should be with someone who definitely is willing to um just make you comfortable and do it when you want to do it that's besides the topic but relax your muscles you could relax your muscles down there I know you could clench up or you could relax and you really have to relax you have to be into it you know you have to just take a deep breath and just relax because it's gonna make it a lot less painful um fifth bro, uh, number five what the hell is that? I think it's my phone that's reflecting off me number five role play number five role play is um role play <laughs> I mean, if you want to do roleplay, you can do roleplay. Um, number five, foreplay is a must. So, just like, uh, let me give a good explanation. Okay, I, I, know, I, can't, I can't think of one right now. But, you have to be naturally, you have to be feeling good, you have to be ready for it. So, make out a little, touch a little, rub a little, I don't know, whatever you gotta do. But get into the moment and get into that. Yeah, just, just get to that moment when you're so, you feel so good with someone in that moment that you just feel like you can't get close enough. That's when you know, I mean, that's when I know that, you know, I'm ready for, you know, intercourse. Um, so you really, you gotta be sexually, like, you gotta be feeling it. And, um, again, there's so, there's so many things that you could do besides intercourse, like actually having sex. You could, there's oral, there's just touching, there's whatever. But um, if you're, if, because this video is about like losing your virginity, then um, I'm talking about intercourse. So once you feel like you just really, you can't get any closer to the person, you know, like you have to just be so, so close and you feel like, I, for me, it's a, it's a love feeling because I, I consider when I think of sex, I think of love. Um, and that's really bad because some people don't have sex with people that they love and that's fine, whatever. Um. But to me, like right now, I like I'm with someone who I like genuinely really love. So, sex is like a love thing. When you just feel that like heat, that you really just you're ready to be with them. 
yeah so that's what i'm saying for play you know mess around a little bit first because um you don't want to just you know do that it's not it's not gonna feel good for you maybe it will for them i don't know okay this is also kind of the same thing number six never go without lube this I promise you this will make a world of a difference even if you don't even foreplay or get ready for whatever lube as long as you have a lot of lube i use use water-based unscented i'm very sensitive so i have sensitive skin so unscented and water-based is the best um because water-based it won't um interfere with the condom well, i'm pretty sure you like look that up still but that's what i know i think so um lube is the best friend of sex okay so if you're having especially especially for the first time people use lubrication spit does not count saliva actually dries up a lot quicker than lube it's not the same and you could actually get yeast infections because our saliva carries sh like sugars from what we eat and stuff and you can get yeast infections um and just whatever else you could get just you could not feel good down there you could feel itchy or whatever and it could be like bacterial it's something bacterial but whatever don't don't use spit if you like especially for the first time use lubrication um naturally there probably is like spit down there just from you know foreplay and whatnot but hopefully this video doesn't get like this is pretty deep but like whatever um yeah so lube is um still something that i swear by when it comes to sex uh, definitely something that will make your life a whole lot easier so go to the store and get some before you have sex will change your whole experience i promise you okay and last one number seven don't do it because of peer pressure or because you feel like oh you're 17 or you're 18 and oh i'm too old now to not have had sex I could definitely say that I was in that position. I know when I was like 15, 16, I would say, yeah, like I, I've had sex, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like all my friends, I don't wanna like rat out my friends, but all the people that I knew at the time were having sex and either in relationships or had sex, you know, ready. And I was, I felt so like, oh my God, like I'm like a prude, you know, that's how I felt. Um, but nowadays I think it's so cool to be someone who's like, you know what, I'm not ready and I don't wanna do it, so I'm a virgin, bye. Like, once I, like hit that age and I did it I was like what the hell like this is nothing like th like this is not even cool like it, it wasn't cool for a long time I could say that um sex for me wasn't really good until probably I don't know I would say like a good six months into like continuously having sex and it was with the same person so um don't I know for some people it's different because some of my friends say like no like sex was good for me the first time and you know whatever maybe it was because you know, they were very, very ready for a very, you know, feeling good and stuff and um, had proper lubrication and whatever. But for some people, it's not like that and it actually does hurt a little bit. And it really shouldn't be super painful, but I'm just mean like uncomfortable. Like it kind of feels like a little bit rough, like, you know, obviously. Um, and not everyone bleeds the first time. I didn't bleed the first time because I already did that um, with a tampon. I was like 14, 15. That's what I'm assuming. I don't really, like, a doctor never told me that, but I never um, bled the first time because, obviously, it already happened for me. Um, but, yeah, don't feel pre feel uh, don't feel peer pressured by the person you're with. If the person you're with is saying, like, we can't be together unless you have sex with me or um, have sex right now or, like, I'm going to leave you, whatever, literally leave them. Don't be with them. They're not with you for the right reasons, clearly. Um yeah that, that's just that's a whole nother story but definitely don't get involved with someone that just wants to be with you for sex unless that's what you're looking for if you're in your 20s or whatever and you're looking for friends with benefits i totally you know i'm fine with that go for it but for when it comes to the first time do it with someone who you know you feel comfortable with and you care about and know that they care about you because when you're having sex with someone and like you know that they don't care about you like okay then if you do get an std or get pregnant or something it's just it's it's really shitty and that 10 minutes of sex or like that sexual experience with someone is not worth it. I don't care if you're 25 or 85 or 70 or 17, whatever. Don't feel like your age is like too old. Like, you know, like I know I felt like that and like just don't. Um, you're definitely never 
who cares if you're 25 or you're 30 and like you never had sex like who cares you know what i mean when you're with the person that you find it's finally right you talk to them about it you tell them like what you feel about it you tell them that you're always nervous about it or whatever your feelings are and they'll be fine with it because again you should be with someone who cares about you and it won't judge you so those are my seven tips guys i'm sh i hope they helped you guys um those are little things that helped me you know and things that i actually learned the hell and things that i actually like learned or like like learned along the way or whatever um yeah so thank you guys for watching this video leave your comment down below like what tips you have for anyone else that's watching this video and needs tips or yeah just things that um could help out someone who is really nervous or scared about the situation because i know a lot of people are um but really just relax and um be safe and be responsible and um, stop overthinking <laughs> that's my tips for you guys i'll see you guys in wednesday's video have a great day and great week bye